I have been playing lots of hardcore Minecraft recently. And don't get me wrong, I really love it. But the stress that comes with playing on a world that can just like delete itself and be gone forever makes it so you can't play Minecraft to its full ability. So today we started a brand new Let's Play world. And obviously this one isn't hardcore. The spawn is looking pretty cool up on these mountains. Oh, and there's a village right there. I also noticed that there's a shipwreck right there too. So we're definitely gonna have to check that out. Don't mind if I steal a bed. Maybe two just in case I lose one of them. Is there any chest around? No. Oh, hello there, fine sir. I'd love to trade you, but I have nothing to give you. Oh, and hello to you. Would you be mad if I hit you? I think he would be. Oh, finally, we have a chest with some apples and potatoes and also some crops that I am definitely gonna harvest up. Sorry. Along with this tree, because every Minecraft world starts with harvesting some logs. We got some iron and coal right there. So I'm quickly gonna make myself one crafting table. Uh, give me that back. So I can then make a wooden pickaxe and then collect up a little bit of stone so I can graduate from the wooden pickaxe. I will be keeping this though so we can put it in some sort of item frame in the future just to remember this first day. Is that a creeper? Oh, that, that is a creeper. I also hear a skeleton, which I don't like. I'm just gonna kind of sneak my way over to this grab it all. I'd love to get that coal, but I really don't want to have to deal with that creeper. You know, while I'm at it, I'm just going to make myself a stone sword to be safe. Well, I think I've pretty much looted that entire village, so now I want to move on and go check out this shipwreck. I always hate when these things are flipped over because it makes it so much harder to go through. Can I swim into there? Is that is that possible? I just go like that and now I'm inside. Okay, there's the chest. Okay, we got some raw iron. Awesome. Well, I guess it's not raw. I guess it's cooked. Grab all of these goodies. And can I get out of here? No, I just got to break this. Now, obviously, there's usually two or three chests in these things, but as you can tell, it's mostly destroyed. Oh, what's down here? Anything down here? Nope, I don't think so. And I really don't want to take a really long time digging around. I will grab that sugar cane after I say hello to these turtles that are I, I don't know what you're doing don't don't look at me and the sun is beginning to go down on day zero so let's sleep through this night you know i keep forgetting that this isn't hardcore and i can be a little more aggressive when it comes to playing like doing stuff like this i feel so brave I always love coming across these stone beaches at the beginning of a world, mainly because they're full of lots of iron and also coal. I mean, just from this one area, I was able to collect 51 coal, and I didn't even really explore that side. Looks like we got a mountain right there and over there. Easily the best update in Minecraft, in my opinion. Oh, and look at that, there's a cherry blossom biome right there. A and another village. I'm gonna go check out that village real quick. Looks like this village has a blacksmith, which is awesome. Hopefully it's got some goodies. Ooh, two diamonds and some iron armor. I will definitely take that. Also gonna steal these furnaces just to make it a little bit easier to cook up all of my meat. How is the day already over? It seemed like it went by so quick. Well, I'm gonna sleep through it. And also this seems like too perfect of an area to launch a boat from. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And since this is Minecraft 1.20, I can now make a boat with a chest. And look how cool that thing is. All right, let me grab my crafting table and load all my goodies in here. And now I can get on my way. If you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Guys, it makes a huge difference for a small channel like mine. Let's Let's get back to it though. Definitely want to stay away from that monument that will kill me instantly, but it is good to know that there's one right here. Looks like we have a taiga right there. Oh, is that a large taiga or one of like the 12 names it has? All right, that does mean I need to empty this boat back out because I don't want to leave any of this stuff behind. And then can I break the boat real quick? Ah, perfect. Oh, that's nice. It stays as a boat chest. Yep, it is a large spruce forest. Oh man, I'm so excited. These are literally my favorite biomes. And there's some rivers running through it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna stick to the left because I do wanna build by like a small river. And so far this is pretty promising. And there's also a dark oak forest. Oh look, there's an azalea tree, which means there's some lush caves like right below us. You know, this might be the area that I end up building in. It's almost too perfect. We have a large spruce forest and then we have a dark oak right there. And then right around that corner was a birch forest, meaning we have three different types of wood all right next door to us. Oh yeah, and obviously the river that I like. All right, well, I've been running around for quite a while exploring 
exploring this large taiga, and I think I found the perfect building location. It's sort of a little isthmus in between a river and a big lake, and for those of you guys who don't know what an isthmus is, it's a thin piece of land in between two bodies of water. Oh, hey look, you learned something today. Bet you didn't think it was coming from a Minecraft YouTuber. But yeah, there's this smaller river right here, which isn't super small, but it's not huge compared to the other one. And then over here is more of a lake-like structure with plenty of flat ground to build a starting house on. With the building location now figured out, I wanna use a few pieces of iron to make an iron ax so I can then chop down some of these trees. Because right now it's kind of hard to visualize where my house is gonna go. I need to make myself a chest real quick because my inventory is full and I really don't want any of these logs to disappear. And while I'm at it, I'm actually gonna put a furnace down real quick so I can cook up some of this raw mud because I really don't wanna waste any of my carrots or potatoes since I'm gonna need those for building farms. Now, normally I'm the type of Minecraft player that likes to build a starter house before doing anything else. Instead, since this isn't hardcore, I think I'm actually gonna jump down into the caves and see if we can get any goodies. But first, I wanna wait for this mutton to finish cooking and I also wanna cook up this six raw iron so I can make some iron tools. Well, besides an axe, because I already have one. And you know, since I'm able to, I'm also gonna place down some carrots and potatoes. I never remember, can you turn Podzol into farmland? No, no you can't. Why is that a thing? That's the only thing that sucks about building in this biome. Like half of the ground is Podzol. At least you can do it with coarse dirt. With all the crops placed in and my iron finished up, I'm just gonna craft myself two iron pickaxes for the time being. And I'm also gonna make myself a shield because I rather be safe than sorry. Even though I can just die and spawn right back at this bed. I would probably lose all my goodies though. Oh, look at the chicken over there. If you can't tell, I have ADHD. Now, considering that there's an azalea tree right over there, I'm gonna assume most of the stuff below us is lush caves, which is really, really cool. Although it's not very much fun when you're trying to look for resources. So I'll give it a little try at first but if it's not working out, I'm gonna have to venture over to a different biome. Is this a cave right here? It seems to be. Oh my God, there's a spawner right there too. Oh, okay, I wanna block that off. Is that, oh, is that a spider spawner? Just blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Let me, let me block that off. Okay, I think I got him in there. I think they're good. Okay, there's another, oh, 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 oh. Oh, if I get a CD, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna let him explode. Place a piece of dirt right there and now let's go get the skeleton. Well, it turns into a water cave, but at least we got a spawner right here and there is a chest. Let me just try placing some torches in there. All right, I got all the spiders killed and this place lit up. Okay, that, that chest isn't very good. Is this one any better? Not really. I'm just gonna leave some of this stuff behind for now because I will come back here, obviously, to build an XP farm, but I don't want to clutter my inventory for now. You know, come to think of it, I did forget to bring a bed, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it would be nice to have one just in case I come up from the caves and it's nighttime. Bed acquired, and now it's time to look for a new cave. I was able to find a few caves pretty quickly, but most of them seemed to be surface caves. And then I stumbled upon a pretty big one, but it was full of mobs, so I had to take all those guys out. And man, Endermen do a lot of damage, don't they? I have myself a pair of shears here, and I think you can harvest a spore. Oh yeah, you can. Awesome. I've never harvested one before, but I do like using them just because it adds a little bit more detail to your builds, especially if they're supposed to look like lush or in a swamp maybe. You know, this is the reason I don't like lush caves. There's this huge cave that I just totally lit up and you'd think there'd be a bunch of resources in here. Well, no, that's not the case. I got about a stack of coal and two raw iron. There is some very cute axolotls though. Look at this little guy, look at him, look at you. I'm just gonna continue to mine though. Well, I've decided to leave this cave because I'm just over lush caves right now. Everything's either a dead end or it just turns into clay and a bunch of green stuff. Ooh, look, there's a fox right there. There does seem to be a pretty big cave entrance over there on that hill, so I think I'm gonna go check that out. Hopefully it's a little more promising than what we've already seen. I have nothing to trade with you, kind sir, but I am interested in what you're selling. Ooh, I like the slime balls and the acacia saplings, but everything else is pretty much trash, and I want your lead, so I'm gonna kill you. No, don't spit at me, that's nasty. Oh, my sword broke. Oh my god, and my axe broke. Okay, I have like no good way to fight these guys. Did I get the lead? I got one lead. Where's the second lead? Okay, one's good enough for now. They're spitting at me. Well, this looks pretty promising, and I think it is high enough up for the iron to start spawning. Hopefully there's no mobs though, because I really don't have a way to fight them. Oh, that, oh, oh, there's a skeleton and a creeper and two more creepers. Oh no, I probably should have made a sword before coming in here, which is exactly what I'm gonna do real quick. I'll, I'll just leave that there for now. 
I think I got most of the mobs. Nope, that did definitely not not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say I think I have the mobs taken care of, but obviously I don't. Shields might be one of the best things in Minecraft right now. I know you used to be able to block with your sword, but I feel like shields do it even better. Because if I recall correctly, you would still take damage when you're blocking, just not nearly as much if you weren't. And of course, more lush cave. This one does seem to be pretty big though. But yeah, look at that. It's actually a relatively large cave. Don't mind, oh, oh, I, I wanted to harvest you guys, but I guess not. All right, you guys are gonna have to hear me out right now, but I think I'm gonna pivot the original plans. Now at first I wanted to build down by a river or a lake in the spruce forest, something like that. But after lighting this cave up, it kind of makes me want to build a cave house. That does mean I need to go grab my stuff though. So first off, I need to make myself chest. One chest, please. I do not want to throw my shears out. I'll throw the dirt out. And I'll just put it here for now and empty all this out. Oh my goodness, I got so much coal. Almost five stacks and I didn't even harvest all of it in here. All right, with my inventory empty, I'm gonna head down and grab the rest of my items. I'm just gonna leave some of this stuff down here for now because it doesn't really matter, but I do want to grab my potatoes and carrots because I don't want to leave these behind. I am really excited to actually build this cave base. I haven't built in the cave in the longest time and I used to really enjoy doing it too. Now I just gotta put all this stuff away and also set my spawn so in case I die I will spawn right back in this location with all of my stuff. I'm happy that we found this big cave but it didn't have as much iron as I originally thought it would meaning I still need to continue mining. So I decided to gather some stuff up and head out and look for a new cave. Hopefully this new cave is in a lush cave. That looks promising but there's a good chance everything in there is just gonna be a water cave. And this doesn't look promising but it's worth checking out. So far no lushness but there is a creeper and more lush. Now that is how you take care of mobs. Oh, this is always the worst when you have to drop down into a cave that you can't really see into. All right, I'm just gonna go for it, get my sword out. Uh, I'm not seeing much. Okay, we're good. Of course, it is a lush cave, but it does seem to be pretty big and promising. Um, excuse me. I'm gonna start with lighting this whole thing up so we don't get sneak attacked by any mobs or creepers. I think there's a tropical fish massacre going on. For some reason, this zombie villager just scared me so much. Besides that though, this cave is quite promising actually. I really like the look of that besides all the mobs that are in there. Oh, is that, is that what I think it is? That's a geode, yeah. Well, before I head down there, I'm gonna kind of clear this place out and build up the confidence. As I made my way into the non-lush cave, I had to take out a ton of mobs. So I decided to sweep going back and forth, placing torches down, slowly lighting it up, and obviously killing the mobs along the way. Okay, there is diamonds right there, but there's also two creepers. Come on, blow up, and then you blow up. Oh, I don't like how close that was. That is scary, but the shields do work. Okay, yeah, we got two diamonds for sure right there. Is that more right there? I think there's more right down there. Yep, definitely there is. Gotta take care of all these mobs. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? I'm almost like 99% sure this is an iron vein right here, considering there's tough and also full iron blocks mixed in with it. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to come back for that, but first I need to make a new pickaxe so I can harvest the diamonds. One iron pickaxe, please. And you know, I'm also gonna make a chest real quick just so I can clear out my inventory a little bit. Because right now there is way too much stuff. All right, let's check how many diamonds we got. There's one, there's two. Is there three or four? There is definitely three, obviously. Let me dig around a little bit. No more diamonds, but a little bit of gold to uncover. And then let's go check this pack down here. Well, I think that was just a two pack. So we have five with us right now. And there's two more back up at base. There is 100% an iron vein in here because there's more full blocks of raw iron right there. And I think each one of these gives you nine, right? Does it give you nine? Yeah, it does. I think we just hit the jackpot. Using three of my five diamonds, I decided to craft myself up one diamond pickaxe. This would make it a little bit quicker and easier to dig out this iron vein. One, because diamond pickaxes have way more durability than iron, and also they mine just a little bit quicker. It is pretty cool seeing me dig from a third person point of view because it looks like I'm building my own cave. It's definitely tough though because these things wind and weep all over the place. I'm going up and down to the side and also watching out for some lava. Well, that's a nice little find, isn't it? I think there's three 
Is there going to be a fourth? Can there be a fourth, please? Let me dig around a little bit. No, I don't think there's a fourth, but I did just get the diamonds back from crafting this. And I have a, uh, a, a lot of iron. Let's just put it that way. I'm almost up to six stacks. We got some more diamonds right here. Please don't just be one. That's that's always the worst. I think it is just one. Darn. Okay. Well, at least I got one. Anything good down there? Can't really tell from up here, but I'm not going to go down there because I have an inventory full of items and I really don't have any more room. So I'm going to make sure to write down the coordinates of this area right here so I can always come back for more iron. I can pretty much leave all of this stuff in this chest because it doesn't really need to come back up to base. Actually, if I'm smart, I can craft all of my iron ore into raw iron blocks. Can you do the same with lapis? Is, is that a thing? Can, oh yeah, yeah. Why did I think you couldn't do that? And I still do want to stop by that geode to maybe get some amethyst shards, which is just right here. I'm just going to dig a staircase down into here. I want to make sure I don't break any of the ones that grow the shards. Is there anything in here? No, no mobs. Am I safe? Am I safe? Part of the reason I cleared this out is so I can grab some of this calcite because I really love to build with it. And I did make sure I didn't break any of these. I got just about two stacks of calcite, which should be plenty enough. I just need to get back up here. And now I can start the journey back up to the surface. And I think I remember how to get up there. No, it wasn't that way. I'm gonna put a torch right there because it's a little dark. Was it over here? I remember I fell through the ceiling. Okay, I think I'm in the right direction. Yep, it's right about here. It's right over here. And then from from this point, it should be pretty easy. And then if I run up to the top through here, it should be the surface. Oh yeah, definitely. Here's all the dirt. Please be daytime. Please be, nope, definitely not daytime. Definitely not daytime. I'm just gonna sleep through the night real quick. Is this the entrance into our cave? No, it's definitely not. And we're back home. I just gotta get my inventory all cleared out. Well, it's now been a little while and I've got all of our goodies smelted up. And also I'm now up to level 30, but I can't really do anything about it. As much as I do wanna go out and try try getting myself an enchantment table, I think it would be smart to build a starter house first. But before I can do that, I'm gonna need to go collect up some materials. Starting with the easiest one first, I made my way down the mountain and harvested up a few of these tall spruce trees. And it's amazing, I cut down five of these and got six stacks of wood. Another reason this is one of my favorite biomes. And also, of course, I placed the saplings back down. I don't want to deplete my entire forest. Next up, I'm gonna need a little bit of sand. Oh my goodness, that could have been bad. But I do keep forgetting that this isn't hardcore Minecraft. I think it's gonna take Take me a little while to get used to that. Oh, I do need your bones, please. I don't have my shield out. Uh, I got a bow, but no bones. I also wanted to collect up a little bit of coarse dirt so I can build some pathways within our cave. Luckily, this stuff is pretty much everywhere. And that, please, you'll find out what I'm using it for later. I'm also gonna need a little bit of stone and I think I'm gonna clear it out from right here because I can make a cool little lookout point if we dig through this. Yeah, it would be perfect for a little balcony that looks out over this beautiful piece of land. I've never made one of these before because I've always had zoom, but I'm excited to try this thing out. Oh, the animation is so cool. I'm gonna kind of hate myself for this, but it needs to be done. Did that, no, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, get me out of the way. Oh, why was it so much gravel? I pretty much have everything together that I'm gonna need to build this starter house. So I think it's about time we get to building it. I first wanna start with building the front facade and I have a pretty good idea of what I want it to look like. Wait a second, I'm using the wrong blocks. When it comes to building this starter house, I mainly wanna see stick with spruce because I feel like it fits the cave really well. Caves are naturally a dark area and spruce logs really give off that same darkness. Although I am stripping them all down because the natural spruce is a little much for me. I also decided to bring in some campfires as a little eve. So far I think that is a pretty good start. I really wanted to incorporate a big circular window in this build, which I've obviously done. Making my way up on the build, I knew I wanted to use deep slate for the roof. Since you can give deep slate so many different textures, I usually like to pick two and alternate on the roof a little bit. It gives your build a little bit more texture and a little easier on the eye. Although it's definitely tough building a roof in a cave when you have blocks right above you. I do like how that is looking besides the stone sticking out right there. Okay, I think that is looking better. It's not as natural, but yeah, I gotta fix that too. Yeah, that is looking much better. I think once we do a little bit more detailing too, it will kind of hide the ugliness. Moving on to the next step in this build, which is honestly the hardest part in my opinion. With the main structure complete, it's now time to come through and do most of the detailing, specifically on the exterior for now. When I look forward to the future, I know I want this cave to have kind of a mystical lush look, which is funny because I hate exploring lush caves, but I've never tried to build one before and I think it would be a 
great challenge for me. When I think of lush and mystic, there's a few blocks that come to mind. First off, any lush cave needs a little bit of moss, and I obviously used way too much, but it still looks pretty good. And I also made sure to carve a pathway going through the moss using some coarse dirt. Now, right in front of the house, there's these two pillars that are holding up the ceiling above, and one of them, I have a pretty cool idea. I want to replace all the stone with either purple glass or amethyst, giving it this kind of bright purple mystic look. And that lava I got earlier, well, that's underneath it, shining a little bit of light through it so it looks like it's glowing. Now, for the other pillar, I wasn't quite sure what to do, so I decided to bring in some moss and calcite and give it a little bit more detail. I'm not totally sure if I want to keep it, but it is something a little different and adds some more color to this build. I am definitely liking how this is turning out. The more I look at this pillar right here, the one I was kind of questioning, the more I'm starting to like it. I think maybe it needs just a little bit more detail work up at the top and also a little bit more vines. For the crystal one, I absolutely love it. Like, I don't think I could like it any more than I already do. Besides that, though, I haven't done much on the interior of the house, nor have I done anything over on this artificial cave, which will eventually be a lookout. First things first, I think I should clear out a few blocks in here to give myself a little bit more space. But before I can do that, I need to get one more chest set up so I can clear out my inventory because currently it's a mess. I also am gonna need a new diamond pickaxe soon because right now this one does not have much durability left. And there it went. Sad times. Right now, this house is going to be pretty small on the inside, so I need to do some planning and make sure I have everything set up in the right spot. Right over here, I think I can fit in a few double chests. A little bit something like that, and then if I take some furnaces, get rid of this gravel and these two pieces of stone, put some more furnaces down on the floor, I can give myself a little kitchen. And I think I know the perfect block to put there just to add a little bit more detail. Although I haven't crafted one just quite yet before. And you know, it kind of has a weird recipe. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm going to craft myself one hanging sign. Well, you get six from that. That's pretty good. And I wish I grabbed some glow squidding from down below in the caves. But of course I didn't, but I can put the hanging sign right there and we can edit it. So we'll fill it out a little bit later. And actually, you know, I think I want to put it sideways like that. Definitely liking how that's looking. Well, in my typical fashion, I got a little carried away on the interior. And when I mean a little, it's pretty much complete. Right when we walk in, we got the bedroom. We got this cool little bench that I have no idea what to do with. We obviously have our furnaces, our chest. And then right over here is my workstation. It has all the workstations I'm going to need, at least for now. But this is a starter house, so it doesn't need to have everything. Hence why the storage room is so small. More like a storage shed? Storage closet. Besides that though, I think this is a perfect stopping point for today's episode. We got a bunch of stuff done and I am so excited to be playing on this new world that isn't hardcore. I mean, just check this out. Look how cool this place is looking. It's my first time building a cave base and I love it so much already. Although, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.